back to work. Go on. Hey, everybody. Gears here with day three of Red 2. And let's start by starting over here. This morning I did a little work. I sanded the white down just to give it a little tooth. This dome is ready to go. I'm just letting it cook all the water off that I used to rinse it with. Over here, several days ago, I put all this caulk on the back side of the torpedo tube. And what I learned doing When I installed that torpedo tube, one of the things I learned was that getting underneath it is really difficult. So, a few days ago, I put all this caulk down here, and that's definitely going to be soft for a long time. It's like three or four tubes. But that it's in place is what matters. Painting it first was definitely something I had to do as well. And this is pretty much ready to install. The trick is going to be putting a bolt hole the trick is going to be drilling a hole through here and over here and then putting a uh, flush bolt on to that to keep it going. And so with that, like I said, there will be two bolts. Drill a hole through the sides there along the crease. Uh, stick it on, then form it into place. There will be a back spot here, basically a half tube, half lengthwise that is and uh, that'll get on there and again form it into place to essentially match this side over here. It'll be a little work but it's not too bad at all. And then turning to the inside here did a little work on apples this morning or which is to say apple setup. This bearing is from my wife's droid, so I'll have to get her a new bearing. And I needed this sooner than she needs hers. These are two 18-inch pine rounds, uh, which I was going to throw out, but I'm glad I kept them around. A couple pieces of 2x4 to act as risers. And what i got to do is head out to the hardware store and get some bolts and that sort of thing. Uh, but otherwise, this is going to be ready just in time for the car, I expect. And getting back over to the car. So last night we left it with that in place and the floor on top of it. So what I've done this morning is to trace out this cutting pretty much centered and as well as I could. So now at this point I just gotta throw the scroll saw into these drill holes and cut all this out. Had I realized I'd be able to get a fairly sharp bend on the aluminum I would have gone with a single piece which is basically a fold out where fold this side up, fold the back side up, fold the other and then just two weld lines along this edge here and it would have been set. Uh, since this piece is turning out pretty well so far I'm actually going to cut this and use it for the under support that will be needed for the droid slot. So this is going to get cut out uh, another piece of aluminum underneath to act as a subfloor supports to hold it in place and so on and yeah so let me see where I'm at with all everything here, and uh, I might even take a lunch break, actually. Hey everybody, Gears here with another day, four or five, on working on the new droid trench. And what I wanted to do with this video is get a procedure down before uh, I completely finish it off. So this is a strip of metal cut to a particular size that I'll show you in a second. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this over to the droid trench, way over there, making a mark such as this guy right there, T-squaring it, dropping it into the slot, tightening it up, bending it, bringing it back over here, and checking to see that it fits. So as you can see, I've actually made a lot of progress, and most of it was today alone. The, uh, I made this square box underneath, welded that to uh, this floor obviously, cut that droid slot out, 
I've just done this guy here and I'm about to do the other side. As you can see, my Aluma weld is not entirely all that clean. However, it works. And as long as it holds it in place long enough for me to beef it up with something else, that's good enough for me. I've left, well, actually, no. I tacked the sides in real quick, uh, but I left the bottoms open because I don't know exactly how this is going to fit yet. And I'm definitely running out of aluminum. Those are the last two strips I have now. And looking over at that thing, compared to this thing, I'm definitely pretty happy. Oh, and since we're over here for a second, first layer of gloss went on uh, not too long ago. It's not a very good layer on it, but it needs to be sanded anyway. So I'll be hitting this. Yeah, it's really foggy in that area, for example. So this will be hit with like 400 or so really lightly. Then another layer, and another layer, and another layer, until I run out of paint, essentially. And as you can see, it's so hot out here that I've actually got a fan on me. And I'm really glad I have that, because even though it's like 80 degrees, it's pure sunlight that I'm working in, which is tough. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, I guess try and bend and weld this into shape. So let me set the camera up. It looks like we got a few minutes worth of uh, battery and definitely hours worth of card time. It's so bright out here that I can't see what's going on, uh, but hopefully I'm aiming at the right stuff. Essentially, you can see how much the heat warped everything here. This, of course, used to be an entirely flat plane, and once it started heating, that was pretty much the end of it. So I'm going to be building this area up to make it flat again. I'll hide it with little greeblies and stuff like that. You can see there's a bit of a tilt down there, and obviously this is all really gunked up. So I happen to know that these side rails here are the same height as each other, so essentially I'll be filling in all around up to those wherever it needs to. Something like this will get patched over in the middle, sanded down on the front, and so on, until it fits basically. Let's flip this over. So it's gotten so hot in a few places that the table paint has melted to it. Not that there's all that much paint on this table to begin with, but you get the idea. So I'll probably be welding those guys in a little better. I got myself some L brackets. There's one on the front and then one on the back of this to uh, help keep things flat, but even that I don't know that the camera will really show it, but even the L brackets curved while they were being heated. So, uh, yeah, definitely next time would have to go with some much thicker aluminum, but that would probably be beyond my skills anyway. So essentially, this is going to be prototype number three. There is no way that this will be the final unless I can really, really dress it up, and I don't think I'll be doing that much. Uh, so I think it's just about... There's one or two little greeblies I want to add right now, actually, so let me get that out of the way.